So I don't think most people realize how significant this new Mac mini really is. I mean, it's just smaller and faster, right? That's the story. It's cool. No, not even close. I think this is the moment for Apple and more importantly for the industry. It's the moment where the Mac not finally, but officially beats the PC. Because at $600, the new Mac mini isn't just okay or good enough. It's incredible. And for the first time, it's way better than every other PC for the same amount of money. It's a simple idea, but let me explain why this is such a big deal. See, just a few years ago, you'd hear the same argument every time you ask somebody about buying a Mac. It is way too expensive for what you're actually getting, meaning that compared to a PC at the same price, it wasn't as fast, as useful, or as practical. And listen, for a long time, they were right. For all of the 2010s, most Macs didn't just cost a lot of money, but they also were underpowered. Maybe they looked better than PCs, or they were more fun to use, but those were all subjective. And and on paper, dollar for dollar, the thing that mattered the most to the most people, the Mac just wasn't there. Eventually, Apple got tired of this, and in 2020, things started to change. Apple announced that for the first time, they'd be switching to their own custom chips made in-house. And if they could actually pull this off, they would be the first company out there to control the hardware design, the software, and the thing on the inside that glued the entire experience together. We got Apple's first M1 computers at the end of that year and they were ridiculously efficient, but still a bit pricey overall with recycled designs that as a whole, again, were just not as fast as PCs. These computers were so close. They were impressive in almost every way, but they still weren't good enough. But fast forward to the present, and that was four years ago. And now Apple's offerings have gotten even better. And to show you just how good this new $600 Mac mini really is, well, I thought we should just take a quick trip to my local Best Buy. Now, walking into Best Buy, I only had one prerequisite for this shopping trip. It was to find a Microsoft PC that cost exactly $600, just like the Mac Mini. And considering that I've been a Mac user for so long, well, it occurred to me in the store that I hadn't actually walked over to the PC section to look at anything in probably a decade. I know that sounds silly, but it's the truth. So I was very eager to see what I could find. The first thing was so many laptops. I guess that should be obvious that that's what most people are buying, but wow, are there so many different PC laptop options? It was genuinely overwhelming. Luckily, after just a bit more searching, I found the desktops, in which I was not only surprised by their size and that there were only five or six, but also the prices on these were way more than the $600 budget I had allotted. That is, until I found this one, which seems perfect. It was an HP Pavilion, and although it was pretty big, it was exactly what we wanted on the mark for dollars spent. And it was even on sale for Black Friday, so spent Tech-wise, it should be significantly better than the Mac Mini because usually it costs around 800 bucks. Now, I looked around the store for anything smaller and in budget, and it just wasn't there. There are no everyday PCs for 600 bucks that I could find other than this one. So I decided to send it, guys. I decided to take it home, and I bought this HP Pavilion desktop, which for scale can fit... Um, about 30 M4 Mac minis inside of it. What you are seeing are two computers that dollar for dollar cost the exact same at a Best Buy right now. And I'm trying to be unbiased and serious here, but this is tough. <laughs> it, is, it is tough to keep a straight face with this one. And let me show you the details of these. But before we do that, let me show you today's sponsor. Now this Mac is interesting, but I think it could use some accessories. So that's why I partnered up with Bamboo Lab to sponsor today's video. This is their A1 Combo 3D printer, and it is so much fun. Plus right now, Bamboo Lab is holding their biggest sale of the year with huge discounts across all of their products. Being pretty new to 3D printing, I thought it would be really hard to get started, but it just isn't. Bamboo Lab has made everything incredibly clear and easy from the setup process to actually doing your first print. It's all controlled via an app on your phone. Like I've been looking for a stand for my MacBook Pro, so I searched up the entire 3D model library and I found one that I really liked. You can just send it straight over to your printer and it begins printing immediately. And then just a few hours later, you have this thing ready to go. And that's just a single color design. The A1 combo supports multi-color prints, even 
even though it's a budget-friendly option, and they are all incredibly high quality, done super precisely, and you can get some really cool color combinations with this printer. And it's doing this with advanced features like active flow control and vibration compensation, so you're always getting the highest quality print at a really quick speed. Like I said earlier, it's just fun, and I've been printing a ton lately, like the stand for my Mac Mini, a notch or camera cover for my MacBook Pro. I like this really cool pen holder that has the same design as Apple's Mac Pro or Pro Display XDR built in here. I even made a small bench for my 16-inch MacBook Pro that would make it sit above a keyboard. Essentially, regardless of what you're looking to print, it's incredibly easy to find new models and discover new prints with the Bamboo Lab app. They have featured collections, and pretty much every day I'm discovering something new thanks to how easy they've made it. The Bamboo Lab A1 combo is incredible, and right now you can get an incredible deal on it when you use my link down below in the description. Again, that huge sale is happening from right now all the way until December 3rd. Check them out, link down below. Okay. I genuinely love these things. Thank you to them for sponsoring. Now let's get back to it. I don't wanna to get too granular here. I'm not gonna go line by line, spec by spec. I just wanna show you some key differences between one $600 PC and one $600 Mac. I mean, obviously looks in size wise, the Mac mini crushes this. The connectivity on the Mac mini is leagues ahead. There's Thunderbolt ports on the back where the PC actually has a VGA adapter. If you're young, you probably don't even know what that is. Just to give you a sense of how old that spec is. And I could go into more, but I'm just trying to give you an overview that, uh, like, surface-wise, it's not even close. But of course, the PC has always had one benchmark for the money that it always won, and that was the raw performance and the capabilities of what the machine could do. So, I wanted to see if that was still true. Again, I'm not here to get technical, but holy sh**, it's not even close. The Mac Mini being I don't even know what percentage of the size of this PC obliterates it. Obviously, you feel it just in using the PC and the Mac back to back, but measure it with a benchmark, and the Mac Mini is nearly twice as fast for a single core performance and more than twice as fast for the multi-core score, which means that this Mac Mini M4 isn't just for basic web browsing, email, Word documents. It means it can handle things like advanced workflows in logic for music creation and editing in Final Cut. A lot of what I do can be done on this Mac Mini. You can compile a lot of code pretty quickly on this $600 Mac Mini. Essentially, this beats the performance of Apple's three-year-old M1 Max chip in the MacBook Pros in a lot of ways. I am trying to illustrate that what used to cost thousands of dollars just a few years ago is now possible on a $600 machine. It, the bar is not gone, the bar has been destroyed. Let me address the elephant in the room. This still can't game. That's the one area, if you buy a gaming PC, you can spec it out for about 600 bucks and you know make the PC a better gaming computer than the Mac Mini. But that is not the majority of people buying computers. It's some, a really important section of, of computer buyers, but that is not here yet. Although let me just say, we're having this conversation that Apple Silicon, when it first came out, was not here to beat the PC a few years years ago, but fast forward to now, and it won. I will not be shocked in the slightest with how much Apple is talking about gaming at every single event and press release lately. Let me ask you this, four years from now, would you take the bet that the Mac still can't game seriously? See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I could take that bet. My through line for this entire video is this. For the first time in history, for a normal person, the best computer you can buy for the money, for the performance, for the size, and for what it can do is a Mac. That is insane. That has never been true before when we're talking about money. Usually it's always been too expensive for not enough performance. This machine flips that assumption on its head. You can now spend $600 on a rock solid Mac mini that's going to last you a decade and get updates for years to come. And it looks cool and it fits in the palm of your hand. Like this is a moment. This is what the promise of Apple Silicon always was. Not just the best for Apple, but the best for the industry. So even if you're not buying this new Mac mini or you only use a laptop for your main computer, or maybe you don't use Macs at all, I hope you can appreciate what they've done with this thing. It's not just a breakthrough engineering feat. It's a major breakthrough for the entire personal computing industry. That's all there is to say. In short, Apple won. Uh, I just, I think it's over. There's no coming back from this. They're not even close. Many PCs are out there, but they cost way more than $600 usually. 
And yeah, you can build a PC, but we're talking about, we're talking about like a normal human being, right? I, I think building PCs is fun. 99% of people probably aren't gonna build a PC. They're gonna walk into a Best Buy, they got $600 and what are they gonna pick? For the first time, they're probably gonna pick a Mac Mini. And that is crazy. Uh, wow, okay, I've been Sam, that's all for this video. Yeah, it's impressive, it's really cool. Um, and then you can, the M4 Pro is even crazier, but th this is not about that. It's about the base $600 version and why that's important. That's all for this video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you learned something new. And if you did drop a like, hit subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.